Are you a radicalized pessimist or are you a revolutionary optimist? The distinction here is extremely important. Antonio Gramsci said, pessimism of the intellect, optimism of the will. So if you are choosing the pessimist side, if you are choosing to be a doomer, a nihilist, a pessimist, then you are choosing the side of counter-revolutionary. You are not choosing the side of revolutionary. If you believe that you've already lost, then you have. We need to have revolutionary optimism in order to win. And we have revolutionary optimism because we understand history, because we understand materialism, because we understand Marxist-Leninist theory. This is an incredible book, Memories of Georgi Dimitrov. It was published by Sophia Press in 1972. Look here and see what it says. The author writes, All of us who knew Georgi Dimitrov closely from our common work saw in his person certain important and particularly characteristic features stemming directly from a profound mastery of the Marxist-Leninist outlook. He was a man of unshakable ideological convictions, imbued with a strong faith in the victory of the working class. At that, his confidence in the triumph of socialism was not that of a fatalist, but of a genuine Marxist-Leninist. It was his profound knowledge of revolutionary theory his penetration into the very essence of Marxism-Leninism, which made him so confident in the final victory of communism. Moreover, Dimitrov's confidence in the victory of socialism was combined with a passionate revolutionary activity. He did not expect the victory of socialism to come by itself, as some idlers and opportunists do. Dimitrov endeavored to be at all time active to fight resolutely for the victory, for bringing closer the hour of victory. If you are having issues finding revolutionary optimism, I have a couple of suggestions for you. One, read theory. No, read theory, please. And join a party. It's extremely isolating and lonely to organize by yourself. This is a collective struggle. We are only going to win if we collectively struggle.